Today, I want to take a closer look at NVIDIA. There's a lot and a lot to unpack on today's episode. We're going to take a closer look at how NVIDIA is increasing its advertisement solution. Yes, NVIDIA is actually a big advertiser player to some extent. Unfortunately, we're also going to look at some bearish reports that are coming out from various news outlets. I want to just share my overall thoughts. And finally, we did get a nice amount of press release for NVIDIA in the past few days that I think investors should also be familiar with. So let's take a closer look with today's episode i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now with that link you get a promotional offer for the subscription service now let's continue with today's episode so just a quick recap nvidia my number one position my favorite semiconductor company right now sitting at 782 dollars year to date the stock is up over 62.3 percent in the past year the stock is killing it with over 236 percent so in the intro, I kind of talked a little bit about how NVIDIA is increasing its advertisement solution. And you might be wondering, Jose, NVIDIA is an advertiser? Yes, they actually have a lot of, obviously solutions for the gaming market and they tend to obviously advertise games to some extent the most recent update here was with their geforce now for those not familiar with geforce now this is their game clouding service so let's say you want to play the biggest best games on a pc but unfortunately you don't have a two thousand dollar pc to play it in 4k you can rent out their infrastructure so within this geforce now nvidia has three main tiers it has a free tier it has a 999 tier and it has a 1999 tier the best way to kind of think about it is think about it of netflix with netflix the free version is kind of the ad version and this is where nvidia is going to be adding ads to so here we can see to help providing ongoing support for the free service starting March 5th, 2024, members will experience up to two minutes of video sponsorship messages before each free gaming session while in queue. So this advertisement segment, in my opinion, is not going to be a big play, but it just kind of showcased that, hey, if you are a big player, if you have a nice amount of market share in this space, like they do in the cloud gaming and gaming in general, you do have the opportunity to try or increase revenue segments one way or another and kind of improve your overall margins in that segment. So obviously they're big in the gaming market. Obviously they're big in the data center. Now I don't believe they're going to offer ads on the data center space, but it's just, again, pretty interesting to see how they can continue to improve margins over time before we go any further i just want to say thank you all for the amazing support we are getting in this channel we're closing in to 40 000 subs that is insane so if you haven't and you are enjoying the content make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button finally if you want to support this channel a little bit more check out my special offer at fool.com jose now back to today's episode now that we kind of took a closer look at that funny clip we are getting some maybe negative reports on nvidia so we have reports that nvidia's h100 we've heard that supply chains are easing and inventory pressure is reportedly forcing customers to resell their products um, some of these players are saying that hey look it's actually better for us to resell our h100s and just use the h100s available in cloud and computing because it's cheaper in the long term of things as we are seeing kind of the cloud computings your microsoft your oracle your Azure. Azure, um, your Amazon having reduced wait times because obviously supply chains are easing. So this could obviously be seen as some form of negativeness for the H100 and for NVIDIA's data center revenue, as you might start to see maybe some concerns of over inventory correction. The only thing I would say is on the bullish end, at the end of the day, I do believe the cloud server providers are going to be the big spenders here. And there is also the next iteration, right? The H200 is coming out in the second quarter, and then you have the Blackwell. But I do believe now, we're starting to maybe see a little bit of pressure on concerns of over inventory correction and this is something investors are going to need to watch now there's also some reports that nvidia is kind of playing a mafia game here with the gpu market where nvidia's ai customers are scared to be seen courting other ai chip makers for the fear of shipment delays says rival firm so i do believe this was a rival firm called grok which is a brand new semiconductor chip that just came out um, that's focusing in this niche market here in large language models but 
they're saying that a lot of the customers that they're coming in and meeting with them are saying, hey, look, if NVIDIA finds out that we're doing this, they're most likely going to delay our orders. Following that, you do have a former AMD GPU head that accuses NVIDIA of being a GPU cartel in response to reports of that kind of prior uh, article that we just took a closer look at. So if this is true, obviously, obviously, NVIDIA could be looked at more by regulatory players to some extent um, by saying, hey, look, are you guys really kind of playing this market to your end? Maybe we might have to find you or give you some form of punishment for what we're seeing right now. Obviously, all of these are reports, but it is something to kind of keep in mind out. I do believe the biggest one of them all was that first one that I mentioned of showcasing maybe some inventory pressure. Again, maybe that inventory pressure is only in the H100. We're going to have to wait to see how the H200 and the reports on the Blackwell itself. Some reports that NVIDIA did announce today on February 28th, ServiceNow, Hugging Face, and NVIDIA release a new open access large language model to help developers tap generative AI for building enterprise applications. So this is StarCoder and is created with this huge community trained on 600 plus programming languages. And there are plenty of reports on Twitter right now how this open source large language model is amazing compared to a lot of the other coding large language models out there. So obviously, NVIDIA is really pushing into this open source to some extent as it forces, not forces them, but it kind of brings that exposure of their hardware into various developers. Uh, so NVIDIA is definitely kind of playing a big role in open source when it comes to large language models. As we've heard from big players like Meta that the large language model is going to be more of a commodity play and it's more the kind of applications that get built out of it. So NVIDIA is helping a lot of these open source companies continue to improve this open source community. Now, taking a closer look at hardware we also did see uh nvidia announced that many grace hopper systems are going to be gathered at gtc on march 18. so during gtc system makers will show more than 500 servers in multiple co configuration across 18 racks all packing NVIDIA's Grace Hopper 200 Super Chip. They'll form the largest display at NVIDIA's booth in the San Jose Convention Center. And this is all thanks to NVIDIA's MGX platform. I've talked about NVIDIA's MGX platform uh, video, uh, I think a video or two ago, when I kind of consider this somewhat of a threat to S Super Micro. A lot of people didn't like their results as they still don't understand MGX. They consider this something that the overall market tends to do a lot, but that's not true. This is the first time we've seen any chip maker do anything to this level so nvidia's mgx is a blueprint for building accelerated servers with any combinations of gpus cpus and data processing units for a wide range of ai high performance computing and nvidia omniverse applications so they're pretty much giving this overall secret sauce to all these types of server vendors to get them to the market faster here are some available mgx systems right now from ace rock Asus, Foxconn, Gigabyte, Inventance, Lenovo, Pegatron, QCT, Supermicro, and Wiwins. I'm pretty sure I'm and Wistrans. So there's a lot of players here in the server space already providing a nice amount of AI accelerated solution. The final news I have here is uh, from February 25th, where ServiceNow and NVIDIA expand partnership with the introduction of telecommunication specific Gen AI solutions. So ServiceNow is actually making a lot of partnerships, in my opinion, with NVIDIA, something that maybe we should keep a a closer eye on for maybe a future video but pretty much right now service now is fine-tuning large language models to create things like customer care service assurance using generative AI and using NVIDIA's AI solutions like their Triton inference server, their Nemo, and their NVIDIA AI enterprise software platform. So again, NVIDIA is just trying to hit everything at once and they're doing really well. Uh, so I think this was a good mixture of some good news and some bad news. Right now we can see NVIDIA stock is now on the green sitting at 787. Um, like I mentioned, there was one bad news, which was those over inventory concerns. This is something that I'm personally going to keep a closer eye on and if i find and see anything else i'm gonna make sure to let you guys know so make sure to hit the thumbs up the subscribe button and see you all next time